Hi, I'm Kimberly Burns. I'm from Rockville, Maryland, and I'm a senior at Loyola this year, and I'm a biology major. Well, I actually played a lot of soccer growing up, and a part of my college decision-making process was uh, the whole recruiting process. So I picked Loyola not only for its academics and its community, but also for um, the athletic program as well. So it played a large part of how I grew up. Um, learning from a team setting on the field really translated in my life off the field, and that was something I was looking for in a university, not only through their soccer program, but also at the university level. Um, over the course of the four years, I've kind of touched on a bunch of different areas. Um, one, one thing that's pretty near and dear to my heart is Project Mexico. I went as a participant last year and was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to lead the trip this year with my co-leader, Michelle Lally. And so we're getting ready for our auction this week, actually, and we'll go on our trip, hopefully this year, um, and cross into uh, Mexico. And that'll be a lot different than my experience last year, where we focused mainly on the Board of Communities within the U.S. Um, in San Diego. So that's something that keeps me pretty busy. <laughs> and um, another experience that I've had that I'm very fortunate for is working with Dr. Leader and some other Loyalist students on a prison project through the Jessup Correctional Institution and Loyola Partnership. And that was a really rewarding experience that I participated in my sophomore and junior years. And unfortunately, with the leadership role this year for Project Mexico, I wasn't able to continue, but still keep in touch and uh, hear about all the inmates. But it's mainly a program where we have, give or take, 30 uh, inmates at JCI who have taken interest in participating in a program about meditation and self-reflection within the jail itself. And it's a small group of us that go in with Dr. Leader and we work with a text. There's always a text from year to year. And it's kind of shifting gears for the inmates and trying to refocus energy and work on um, a rehab rehabilitation aspect of their sentence. I spent a lot of time at Loyola uh, interning. I was fortunate to, enough to have Dr. Levin sponsor me for an internship that I've been doing for a little over a year now in uh, University of Maryland's Medical Center, their thoracic su surgery unit. So that's been just absolutely amazing, and it's potentially where I'll be um, working next year and hopefully continuing through their medical school. Well, as I had mentioned, um, I did play a lot of soccer growing up, and that ended up playing a factor in where I was going to go to school because of the recruiting process. But because of that, I think I took a lot of um, meaning from what it means to be a team. And I think that in looking for that in a university, not just, like I said, through their program, but at the university level, I was able to recognize that Loyola was so unique and definitely a place that I wanted to you know, make that lifelong commitment to because of how they also valued their team members and you know, those positions that we all take on in these organizations or the roles that we play in community service or you know, even the seats we sit in in the classroom, those are all going to constantly be changing as flexible students come in and out, but the people that are filling those seats, the people that make up those teams, it's just something that you know, I saw in Loyola where I didn't see in other places. And um, I think just being able to take that away was what granted me the opportunity to do so much of what I have done here and so much more of what I still hope to do.